Here's how you can create epic oscillation animations in Scratch. In a lot of cases, we have something like a title screen with some buttons and animations. One could leave them static, but having them move around like this looks way cooler. I'll cover two different oscillations. The first one is with rotation and the second one is with translation. So let's get started. I'll take the first case where we might want a button to oscillate up and down about this position of y negative 35. This is actually quite simple. We'll need a variable as a counter and I'll call it c. At the start of this script, you can set c to 0 and at the end of the main loop, change it by 2. For the y position, first mention the center about which you would like the oscillation. In our case, that's negative 35. After this, multiply the second operand by a value. I'll take this to be 25. This is what's called the amplitude of oscillation. Effectively, this means that we will move up and down the center y position by 25 pixels. After this, multiply the amplitude by the sign of the variable c. You can keep this entire block as it is, but I personally prefer rounding the value. Test it out and it should give you the animation that you desire. If you would like the movement to be faster than what it currently is, then you can just bump up the increment and this will speed up the whole animation. Lastly, you can have an offset from the center as the starting point by adding a constant value within the sign. This is what's known as a phase angle. An angle of 90 means that the button will oscillate about the same center position, but it will start at one of the corners. If you test it out, you should get what I mean. Now, you can play around with these values to get the effect that you desire. So that was for a translation. Now I'll explain how you can add a rotation. It's very similar to the translation, except that we will use a point and direction block instead. The only difference is that it's usually better to keep the values a lot smaller. I personally prefer a five degree rotation on each side. Since the default direction is 90, that is what I will oscillate around, although you can customize this as well. For the rotation, I would recommend getting rid of the round block because this tends to make it quite choppy. I'll also bump the increment to 3. And that's really it. If you test the program, you will get a super smooth rotatory oscillation. Super easy, silky smooth, and super effective.